So today I'm doing a really quick video for my sister. I was in town this past weekend because it was my birthday. So I was in town this past weekend and I did my sister's hair and she's like, Courtney, 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 can you please, please, please make a video on how you did this? And when I was doing her hair, I was showing her in the mirror what I was doing and trying to make it easy for her. But as we all know, um, practice makes perfect or perfect practice makes perfect. So it's a lot easier to watch a video to learn how to do something rather than just try and remember what I was showing her then. So this video is specifically for her because she's the one who requested it, but I am of course just going to post it to my channel and just let you guys enjoy it as well. I'm going to stop blabbing and get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your comb and you want to give yourself a pretty deep part because you want the braid to start like a, probably an inch above your ear. Um, maybe I guess even an inch to two in or an inch and a half to two inches above your ear, depending on what you like. And then you want to make that same size amount um, going diagonal across your head. Diagonal, horizontal, whatever. Going across your head, stopping right above your ear, and sectioning that hair off from all of the rest of your hair. So then you end up with a big old chunk that looks like that. And to make it easier for me, I just like to put the rest of my hair back into like a bun. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to start your braid. So what I like to do is use my comb and get like a really thin, flat area to start my braid. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take your first section of hair and break it off into three pieces. So take three. This is more of, I guess, a Dutch braid that I do. I take the middle piece and bring them to the outside each time. So it's kind of like the middle piece goes over top the outside pieces. Um, and so I do that a couple of times. And then I drop the hair. Completely drop it on one side. Because what I'm doing is I'm going to pick up more hair with it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. If I don't pick up the original strand, it's not that big of a deal. But I continue to do that all throughout my hair. Now this tutorial is going to have to be something that you watch, not necessarily something that I can say to make it easier for you. Also keep in mind, I don't have a mirror, so I can't see when there's little strands sticking out and I'm not able to get all of it because I don't know what's missing. But basically you want to keep dropping your hair and adding pieces to it. Drop the hair, add a piece to it. Drop the hair, add more to it. So you just keep doing that all throughout your hair. Okay, then right when you reach your ear, you just want to continue braiding just a little bit so that the braid stays nice and tight in your hair. So I'm only going to go probably to here, and basically you can either bobby pin it down or you can use an elastic. I'm going to go ahead and just use an elastic that I have and bring it all together. Now for my sister, we just kind of kept her hair down with it, and um, it looks really cute that way, just leaving the hair down and, you know, styling it that way. But I actually like to have my hair up when I do this um, hairstyle, and just because I find that it looks, I don't know, kind of cute when it's up. So basically this is the overall braid. It is a little bit messy because I didn't have a mirror, as I said. It's hard for me to be able to see what I'm doing when I don't have a mirror there. And also, for any of the little stray pieces, all you have to do is use hairspray. And after you spray it, just hold it down and it ends up staying in place. Or if it's like a really long strand, you of course can just bobby pin it and it stays in place as well. So I hope this tutorial was kind of helpful. Like I said, I made this video specifically for my sister because she did ask for me to make this video for her. So um, again, just kind of pay attention to what I am doing, not necessarily what I'm saying because it's very difficult to explain verbally how to do a French or Dutch braid. It's a lot easier just to watch. So I hope you found this video helpful and um, sorry for being so just like slugged down. I don't have any earrings or any jewelry or anything on. Um, I just, I'm just kind of hanging out and chilling today. So wanted to make a quick video and uh, yeah, so I'll talk to everyone later. Take care everyone. Bye.